Number 1. NGC 1300 the Hubble Space Telescope's advanced camera for surveys, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, and the Very Large Telescope's multi-unit spectroscopic explorer instruments produce this composite image of NGC 1300, which includes compass arrows and labels for reference. The north and east compass arrows indicate the image's orientation in the sky. It's worth noting that the relationship between north and east in the sky is reversed when compared to direction arrows on a map of the ground. The distance traveled by light in one Earth year is labeled on the scale bar in light years. A distance equivalent to the length of the bar takes 18,400 years for light to travel. One light year corresponds to approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. This image's field of view spans roughly 59,000 light years. The visible, near infrared, and radio wavelengths of light have been translated into visible light colors in this composite image. Number 2. Quasar in the Early Universe The James Webb Space Telescope's four instruments will be used to analyze the three most distant quasars found to far. They will measure the masses of their central, supermassive black holes for the first time, study the stars and makeup of their host galaxies, and examine surrounding galaxies to learn more about their neighborhoods in the early universe. At a glance, the three objectives of this research initiative are J0313, 1806 was discovered 670 million years after the Big Bang and is 1.6 billion times larger than our Sun. J1907 plus 215, discovered 700 million years after the Big Bang, is 1.5 billion times more massive than our Sun. J1342 plus 928 is 800 million times the mass of our Sun and dates back 690 million years after the Big Bang. Number 3. Quasar and Galaxy Surrounding the James Webb Space Telescope will be used for the first time to explore the galaxies that surround three brilliant quasars in detail. First, they will photograph each target using Webb's near-infrared camera, as shown in the generated image at left. Then, as shown at right, they will remove the quasar's light to reveal the galaxy and its stars. These findings will add to our understanding of the era of reionization by revealing the composition of three galaxies in the early cosmos. Number 4. Exoplanet TOI-421b and its star. An illustration of what the exoplanet TOI-421b could look like. TOI-421b is a hot sub-Neptune-sized exoplanet that orbits a sun-like star 244 light-years away. TOI-421b is thought to have a clear, cloud-free environment. This picture is based on our understanding of the planet and its host star, as well as assumptions about the atmosphere's potential features. Webb's spectroscopic data will aid us in better understanding the composition of the planet's atmosphere. TOI-421b is roughly the size of Earth, radius 2.68 times Earth, mass 7.2 times Earth, and density two times water. It orbits its star at 0.056 astronomical units, 5.6% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, completing one orbit in 5.2 Earth days. 2I-421 has a radius 0.87 times that of the Sun, a mass 0.85 times that of the Sun, and a temperature of 5325 kelvins, approximately 5050 degrees Celsius, which is somewhat lower than that of the Sun. Number five, exoplanet GJ, 1214b and its star. Based on existing data, this is an illustration of what exoplanet GJ, 1214b could look like. GJ, 1214b, a warm sub-Neptune-sized exoplanet about 48 light-years from Earth, is one of the galaxy's most researched exoplanets. Previous spectroscopic investigations show that the planet is enveloped in aerosols, clouds, or haze, making it impossible to establish the composition of gases in its thick atmosphere. This picture is based on our understanding of the planet and its host star, as well as assumptions about the atmosphere's potential features. 
Webb's spectroscopic data will aid in our understanding of the gases and aerosols that make up the planet's atmosphere. GJ1214b is roughly the size of Earth, radius 2.4 times Earth, mass and density. It orbits its star at only 0.015 astronomical unit, completing one orbit in 1.58 Earth days. GJ1214 is a chilly red dwarf star with a radius of 0.22 times that of the Sun, a mass of 0.18 times that of the Sun, and a temperature of 3,250 kelvins, about 2,500 degrees cooler than the Sun. Number 6. Galactic Center An immense whirling vortex of hot gas glows with infrared light, indicating the approximate location of our Milky Way galaxy's supermassive black hole. When it was released in 2009, this multi-wavelength composite image included near-infrared light, recorded by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, and was the finest infrared image ever made of the galactic center region. The Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration's efforts to obtain a closer, more detailed image have been hampered by dynamic flashing flares in the region immediately surrounding the black hole, known as Sagittarius A. While the black hole does not emit light and hence cannot be seen with a telescope, the EHT team is aiming to capture it by obtaining a clear image of the hot incandescent gas and dust directly surrounding it. NASA's forthcoming James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in December 2021, will combine Hubble's resolution with increased detection of infrared light. Webb will join EHT in studying Sagittarius A. Dror in its first year of science operations, giving its infrared data for comparison to EHT's radio data, making it easier to discern when bright flares are occurring and producing a crisper, overall image of the region. Colors in this composite image indicate different wavelengths of light. Near-infrared views from Hubble are depicted in yellow, exposing hundreds of thousands of stars, stellar nurseries, and hot gas. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope's deeper infrared observations are depicted in red, revealing even more stars and gas clouds. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory observed light in blue and violet, indicating where gas is heated to millions of degrees by star explosions and outflows from the supermassive black hole. Number 7 Galactic Center in near-infrared heated plasma flows around the vicinity of the Milky Way galaxy's supermassive black hole, as recorded by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope in near-infrared light. This was the finest infrared image of the galactic center region yet made, and it was released in 2009 to commemorate the International Year of Astronomy. NASA's forthcoming James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in December 2021, will carry on this research by combining Hubble-level resolution with increased infrared detection capacity. Webb's observations of flares in the vicinity, which have not been recorded surrounding any other supermassive black hole and whose cause is unknown, will be of particular interest to astronomers. The flares have hindered the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration's attempt to take an image of the area immediately surrounding the black hole, and Webb's infrared data is expected to be extremely helpful in producing a clean image.